Simon Epa surprises opponents in IPOB. Anambra House of Assembly working for Mieti Allah. Lai Mohammed returns quietly as Twitter snobs Nigeria. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you from here. I am Azoka OJ, and this is IAT Channel. Simon Epa stuns his traducers. I heard that it came to a point his membership was questioned in IPOB. You hear something like, hey, it's not an oath member. Now, Epa has resolved it. In the following video, I'm going to show you. Watch. Those who are saying, Oga, go and take oath. I have made it very clear. First of all, I am oath member of IPUB. I am, if you did not hear that before from me, let it sink into your score. I am oath member. Oath member of IPUB. Oath member. I took oath under the supervision of Onyendu. What did I say? Under the supervision of Onyendu Mazenamdikan. I took oath. So anybody that is coming after this video to say, someone else, go and take oath, you know, you must, we will mark you as those that Omahi paid to come to IPOB to cause trouble. Because when I took oath, Mazen Namdikano himself supervised it. He was there when I took the oath. Okay? I didn't tell you this before. And this will be the last time I will, this will be the last time I will address it. So how many of you that took oath in IPOB that Mazen Namdi can supervised? You that is telling Simon Ekba to go and take oath. Did Mazen Namdi can supervise your oath taking? He supervised my, oath, my own oath taking. Okay? If you don't know that, you know it today. Now let us, I want you people to listen. Because the advice is going to all those people who have connived to attack Simon Ekba for no just reason. And like now, you should, you should have known, I am unbreakable. I am unbreakable because the spirit of Mazenam the Kano is burning in me. In fact, I am possessed. I am possessed with the spirit of Mazenam the Kano. I am not calling myself a disciple for no reason. So if you think you can break me, I am unbreakable. Now I want you people to watch because this advice goes to those who will, who will rise and try to to uh, fight for Samanekpa and they, they are going to fall from the sixth floor of story building. You know how they will fall from the heaven. That is where you are going to fall. So the last warning is today. Leave Samanekpa alone to do what he is doing. I am not interfering with your leadership. I'm not interfering with whatever you are doing. Allow me to do work for Biafra, for IPOB, and for Mazenam I want you to people to listen. So, no more query about whether Simon Ekba belongs to the organization Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB. He has clarified everyone on that. And I can see the silence. <laughs> well, I think his membership shouldn't have been queried at the first place. But because some people are mischief makers, The matter is now dead. Anyway, I will start my own query, but this time around, I will query members of a certain house of assembly. You know, um, sometimes you wonder how certain things got to certain places, especially the wrong things going to the right places you know who elected this set of people ruling nigeria especially the anambra house of assembly who claim their leaders and our representatives who elected you could you imagine some states like um, anambra edo cross river are yet to enact that open grazing bill while some are about passing it, and there is a deadline. The Southern Governors Forum, SGF, 
on July 5th, 2021, agreed on a September 1 deadline for the anti-open grazing law to be signed by all member states. This is an agreement. So what is happening? In fact, according to the chairman of the forum, and who is also on those state governor, Rotimi Akarudoru, uh, he, uh, he read a communique, yes, after the meeting in Lagos, and he said, we have set a timeline, and the timeline is of September 1, 2021, for the promulgation of the anti-open grazing law in all member states. So what is happening with Anambra and other states? Is Anambra working for Mieti Allah? Because that is what I believe. We want to believe you're working for Mieti Allah. As at the time of this report, 17 states are at different stages of enacting the law as deadline approaches. Enugu has given it a second reading. What is Anambra state waiting for? Who elected those people in Anambra State House of Assembly? Who you call legislators? Who elected you? What are you there to do? What are you legislating? All the Anambra State, members of Anambra State House, their membership should be queried. And they should check properly if they won election. No. Or have they forgotten what they are there to do? Somebody should send them a message that there is no time. There is no time. Let them stop playing with our lives. Anambra youths will not be happy if you miss the deadline. That deadline is September 1. When other states would have passed that anti-open grazing law. And you know what it involves? Not passing the law. Nonsense. You guys have failed Anambra State. And I think you're working in conjunction with Obiano. Obiano should do something too. Anyway, it seems that we are going to be talking about failed people on this show today. <laughs> a saying goes like this. Don't start what you can't finish. Among the safety rules of machines and the operations is that um, you shouldn't start an engine if you don't know how to stop it. And it is advisable that you also think before you act. Some of the times you don't understand you are dealing with humans. And you cannot be on top all the times. You're not dealing with animals. So mind how you exercise that your a silly small power. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Buhari's minister, Lai Lion Mohammed, has returned to Nigeria after a fruitless US trip. They were shunned by Twitter executives. That's Twitter. You know they banned Twitter. <laughs> they are going to back Twitter now. They were shunned. In fact, it is not only fruitless. So that journey is also frustrating. Anyway, the guy go and enjoy. Can you imagine how Lai Mohammed and Co would be begging at the Twitter gate? Imagine, you know, that uh, Silicon Valley where Twitter and Facebook and the rest are. Imagine how they would be begging. Let me let me act it more drama. Please, can we see your ogre? We are sorry we have made a big mistake. My boss Buhari doesn't listen. Yes, quite all right. I, Lai Mohammed, suggested the banning of the organization, but I let her change my mind. But Buhari never says, if Buhari says this, he never changes. Remember, he is a military officer. And president of the Federal Republic, <laughs> he went on to ban Twitter and he even announced it on Twitter, insult upon insult. That is how they will be begging anyone they see at the gate of Twitter. Can you imagine? I don't think they were allowed into the premises. A country. Now, how will this Twitter boss reply? Because the Twitter boss is having the last laugh now. 
is that uh, you know Americans hey shut that door against those beggars <laughs> shut the door against them I have no business with them your country is going to beg to enter because of silly mistakes Yes, uh, we reported here last week, in case you don't know, Lai Mohammed had traveled to meet uh, with top executives of Twitter to beg the microblogging um, sites to return because uh, Nigeria has lost so much and is still losing more blood. <laughs> I'm of God, but I didn't it. And they may die if care is not taken. Is in the, the Nigerian um, media is in <laughs> intensive care. Hey, you know, um, Lion Mohammed, I be Lion Mohammed, I'm sorry, I don't even know the name. Uh, before flying to US, he said, Nigeria is considering lifting the ban on Twitter. <laughs> that day, sir, eh, I laughed in Latin. <laughs> is it this Twitter they are going to beg to return that he said they are lifting a ban? Hey! <laughs> One that shall never end though. Uh, when somebody says zoo, eh, you'll be wondering, is he just calling zoo or he's, he has a reason? Where snakes and monkeys come out to steal money. Anyway, Nigeria's Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has returned. And uh, the trip to beg Twitter was fertile. <laughs> Frustrating. Uh, this message was called from Sahara Reporters. <laughs> the minister is still recovering from the trip. <laughs> you know, there's a way they abandon you, eh? <laughs> they, they, they were not, I don't think they were allowed in, just like I said, they were shunned. <laughs> and you are dealing with people who have built trust for years. You're not dealing with Nigerians, some Nigerians. There are good Nigerians who are here. So you mind how you, these are reputable companies. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, sometime eh, I was like, how did I find myself here? Hmm? Anyway, that is why some people are eager, are eager about splitting. You know, if, if, this thing about these guys have gone to blow, blow um, stars payers money, just like Buhari, who doesn't fix Nigeria hospital, but he will fly out blowing taxpayers money and oil money. Where is my hammer? <laughs> anyway, Lai Mohammed, people are watching. If you, do you want us to give you your flight detail and that of your friend? <laughs> yeah? This is according to Sahara. They even know the number of your seats. Anything you are doing. Including your seat numbers. <laughs> you flew to US with one a day, I think it's your personal assistant. And it was on a first class. You're wasting our money. That's your return now from um, JF Kennedy International Airport, New York. And even Sahara went on to say, <laughs> you will use the gate B38 at Terminal 4 while arriving <laughs> in Lagos. Yeah, I remember those days when Punch would tell Babangida, those times of Babangida refusing to like um, leave. Punch will tell Babangida, this is the time, exact minute you started your news. <laughs> this is when you ended the news. Babangida will like, did these guys plant camera in Asso Rock then? Anyway, Rai Mohammed, um, your seat number while you are returning. <laughs> eh? Um, seat 7A while your guys 7J and you use Delta Airline. Delta. <laughs> In case you don't know. 
I told you up and I go on one and I go on one now fear. I think um, this is where we round up. Uh, viewers, please, we would like you to add your comment. Tell us what you think about uh, today's stories. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Also, click on the bell icon to get our updates. If possible, we might come live again today. Let's see how it will be. If we're going to come live, we will notify you. Azoka Oje says, bye for now.